Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, uh, it is 2024 and um, 2024 and back um, on the channel with another another Blu-ray hunting video. Um, this is the year, I'm telling you. I am giving myself a target this year, of massive target, to get 10k subs. Why not? Go big or go home. Um, so, 8k over 12 months, what's that? Probably need about 700 a month, maybe something like that. Which when you say it like that, you know, pretty doable. So the first thing you need to do really is be consistent on YouTube and, you know, do more stuff. So we're doing that. I'm not, I know I've said it, I've come, I've, I've done these like late videos saying I'm back and all that. This is the first episode of Blu-ray Hunting, but this is the 2024 series. I'm starting to split things out now. There's going to be playlists on the channel, which um, I'm going to do and put all my like 2023 movies in one playlist and 2024 movie reviews in another one and all that. I'm going to really start to categorize each year as and when. And, you know, it's always good when you restart a new year. It's like, right, I'm going to really set myself some goals, do some YouTube, try and catch up on the previous year, which I've done the last couple of weeks. Like I've just tried to catch up on the big films that have been out. Um, but this month, I am determined. I've got all my streaming movies in a list. I've got all my cinema movies in a list of what I want to go and see. I'm literally going to see probably two films today, one, uh, two films Monday in the cinema, and then another film on Thursday. So, like, I'm already smashing the, the films, like, coming out. So, we're getting it done, guys. We're getting it done. So, this is, like, I want to start the video by just comment below, guys. Like, not so much right away, but just throughout this video, just comment. Comment on, like, the community tab. Message me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things, or X or whatever it's called. Message me wherever, and just tell me what you want from the channel. What would you like me to do more of? Uh, more Blu-ray hunts? More Blu-ray unboxings? More Blu-ray stuff. Blu-ray stuff definitely does get the views. I'm not going to lie. But I've got a lot of like music vinyls and stuff like that. And I've spoken about that in the past. You know, maybe I do a what music vinyls I bought this month. Uh, movie movie music vinyls and stuff that I bought in, in the month and stuff like that. I've also tied and told you about like the vlogging channel. That is starting as well. Um, the, uh, the first video is actually out the same day you're watching this. So, yep, yeah, after this video, head over there. There will be a link in the description to all of my Movies with James videos now for like my vlogging stuff um yeah i'm gonna vlog not every day in my life but a lot of the life um so it's not gonna be movie related but you know they're gonna see some behind the scenes stuff you know doing out my office is like the first series kind of thing that i've done um well still doing it out to be honest with you um but i've obviously got my cinema room which i'm gonna re be rejigging so maybe i'll be uploading some videos on here but also like the behind the scenes actually like with the drill will be on the vlog so yeah, and also if you like my cute dog Obi, who doesn't like cute dog Obi? There's all that out the way. We are here Blu-ray hunting. I had a thought about today. I've got some stuff that I've got to trade in to see. Yeah, I've got a bag full of like some old PS5 games and PS4 games that either I've got them digitally now um, or I just really just never going to play them, you know? I think I'm going to get like 50 quid voucher or something like that or 45 pound voucher. So not too bad, um, which is quite good. Um, and also then I've got like some other bits and bobs um, that I found lying around the house, which I'm going to get some cash for um like just some old like camera lenses like i'm never gonna use a dslr camera so did just some stuff like that um trying to minimize my tech really so get rid of what i don't use get the cash for that a little bit less obviously more in the voucher but would rather look the cash because it's i think it's over 200 pounds if it all goes well with the testing obviously so got some stuff to trade in cex i'm not gonna do the picking out of the hat thing you guys let me know if you like this um, for 2024 or should I do try and do something else give me some ideas like I say this channel is something I do but I do it for you um, so if you got preferences of what you think best you let me know um, so we're gonna leave this for today um, and maybe we'll come up with a new format for next week but we are here in Cumbran uh, today I'm very excited I'm going to see a film what time did I put in my calendar for I think it's 11 the film at half past 11 actually to go and see one life so I've got two and a half hours I've got to trade some stuff in I've got to go to HMV got to go to CEX as well obviously and have a look around in both of those we've got plenty of time so maybe we'll hit a charity shop as well while we're over here um and I also would like to potentially well I need to go to the post office because they um take cash deposits uh, so you can bank money in, which you didn't know is a pretty good good thing to know, I think. Uh, and they open on a Saturday, I think it's still midday, so I'm going to grab some cash to bank as well. You know how it is over Christmas, you get cash, you need to just bank it. So I uh, need to do that as well. Um, and then, yeah, going to go and see One Life, which will be my first 2024 movie. That was a weird one because it kind of did come out towards the end of 2023. But I think in the UK, it came out on like the 30th, 30th maybe even Boxing Day. Um, so basically it was 2024. So that's going to be my first 2024 movie. 
and then I'm going to see Priscilla this evening then as well, which I'm very looking forward to seeing, but I don't understand how Cine will do this. Like Newport Cinema is like a massive cinema. I think it's like in the higher group, it's in like a category one or two, or maybe it's a group two cinema. But then Cardiff is a group three, but then Priscilla is only in Cardiff. So it's only in the city cinema, I guess, but then it's in a lower group one. So people who pay more a month to go to their local Newport cannot see every film. I don't understand how they work, how they work that out, but anyways. So yeah, as you can say, a little bit of a, I literally just like, I feel like I just told you guys a bit of a dump of information there, but let's just head out. We're going to go over there, see if we can find, get my trade-ins done, and then we'll start filming and have a look around and, um, and see what's changed because I am I've been to Cumbrian over Christmas. There's some stuff that's changed. There's a geek store that is gone now. Um, it's been replaced by the coffee number one shop. Um, we'll have a look, see what we can see. But yeah, let's go and let's go hunting. As, as Big Paulie would say, let's go Blu-ray hunting, baby. I do have my HMV bag. This has got all my games and stuff that I'm trading in to CEX. And then alongside that, I've got this rucksack here, which is full of some old tech that I'm not using. You know, just got some cameras and. Just stuff I'm not using, you know. We always need a deep cleanser. To be honest, I haven't even started. Like my attic. That's a, that's a vlog series in itself. I'm here bright and early though. It is like 10 past nine, I think, um, at the moment. Quarter past nine. Um, but yeah, bright and early in Cumbran. It doesn't look great on camera, I'm not gonna lie. But I love it, it's great. As this also January, I also am gonna give Greg's a miss because I got bacon cooked in my house. So when I go home, we'll have a bacon sarni. I mean, probably a pasty is probably better for you actually, you know? But you know, it's such a like weird experience because I haven't actually vlogged for, in public for like such a long time. It feels weird to do, but at the same time, bittersweet. I miss it, you know? I do miss it. So doing YouTube makes me feel alive again. It's weird, but you know, gotta start somewhere. So there's what it is, back to it. Back to it. Okay, then here we go. CEX. Let's head in to CEX in Cumbran here. Um, I really like this store, but they do get rid of their slip covers. This is the one that they throw the slip covers away, believe it or not. As you can see here, the 4Ks. No slip covers on any of these. Uh, but we do have some cheap prices. Bad boys. I do already own this. I believe I bought this in uh in Fob or Fog or whatever it's called in London. Fob, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, the HMV store thingy there. Six quid though, pretty decent. It's got a 24 month warranty sticker on it. We've got some Jaws down the bottom there. We've also got Duel. This is a new one. Uh, the Steven Spielberg's first ever movie. It's 15 pound. I've never seen this in person. So this must be a, a new release over the last few months. A double Dolby though, which is nice to see. But unfortunately, just a 4K disc and no Blu-ray disc with it. But 15 quid nonetheless. Uh, we've got some James Bond here. The Spy Who Loved Me uh, for two pounds. And we also have Octopussy there again. Again, for four pounds now i don't know which ones of these i own so yeah the avatar collection this is a collector's edition i've always wanted to own so for three quid the fact that now obviously the other ones are out uh, in 4k again one day i, I should have I, I didn't buy this i should have bought this in hindsight as i'm recording this because you know yeah it's nice to have aliens this is a series that i'm adamant i'm gonna watch this year but i do see it cheaper for like a bit of a box set of all the other films i believe this is the second movie three pound fifty but i haven't seen any of them got some dragon ball z stuff here number five six seven eight two nines and then number ten if they mean anything to you but yeah, you could be a fan. Uh, I've got some nice Doctor Who stuff here. Eight pound. This is obviously the Jodie Whittaker um, Doctor Who. I've seen a few of these episodes. Don't mind them. Celine Dion. Now we've got like uh, Live in Las Vegas. Nice little box set here that I saw. It opens out there as you can see. Like a little digi pack. Little booklet there as well. Uh, but that's there for six pounds. Flags of Our Fathers. Now this looks a bit of a war movie. Two pounds. Um, looks pretty okay it looks like a masterpiece you know it says yeah, an american masterpiece a great film never seen it um but yeah clint eastwood movie so you know series three of gavin and stacy for a pound i didn't actually know they sold these individually like i don't own these and i don't really like the box set every time i see a box set of these it's really grubby so maybe i'll get them individually i've never never actually seen them there we've got the non-complete versions of indiana jones because obviously now there's a fifth movie in the franchise uh, there's a few other ones here you can see um it's a lot uh, we've got Invisible Man uh, in The Electric Mist. And then the two uh, in-betweeners movies there um, for uh, £3 in the box set. We've got The Police Academy. Now, I am adamant this was here the last time I came here, £12. Uh, I'm out of a bit of deja vu when I was filming this because I feel like I've been here doing this with the same 
the same thing. So yeah, 12 quid though. We've got Winnie the Pooh. This is actually on uh, Amazon Prime. I didn't see this film. I want to see it. I'm going to feature it on a horror Saturday. So stay tuned for that. 10 quid though for the Blu-ray. Well, another 10 quid though, we do have the Super Mario movies. Uh, I don't actually own this as well, but I'm going to get this on 4K of course. 10 quid though on Blu-ray for the Power Up Edition. A few other ones here. We've got some Red, some Rum Diary, some Robocop. Um, we've got a double pack there of the Railway Children, the original movie, as well as the Railway Children Return, um, you know, the newest movie. So pretty good. Five quid in this little double pack. <laughs> Well, there it is. The TV and film store have gone. Coffee number one. I mean, somehow mankind has survived, but. Heading over then now to HMV, as you can see, the big sale is on. This is obviously like the January sale. They've got like a lot of vinyl on sale. And look, Taylor Swift right in front of me as I walk in. It's like meant to be. Anyways, we're here for movies. 4Ks, two for £25 on a lot of these. Knives Out, Elf. Um, there's some Jurassic World, Godzilla, uh, The Mummy, Meg, um, Black Adam, Creed, Godzilla vs. Kong, Halloween Kills, all of them. And also two for 15 on the premium collection. Now, I think the premium collection is actually ending. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments if this is actually ending uh, because there's some I want to get. Anyways, 4K uh, new section. We've got the Oppenheimer, of course, $24.99. There's no cover. This is just like the slip cover on the shelf. Uh, but yeah, again, great film. Titanic has recently come out maybe in about a month now, uh, maybe three weeks. $24.99, um, unfortunately, it's a double Dolby, but I haven't really heard much more about it. So is it amazing, the, the transfer? Let me know. Um, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny. Again, this is the, the bit that completes Indiana Jones. $24.99, nice looking cover. It looks the same as the other ones as individual, which is nice because I want to get them individually. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of my films of the year. It's in my top 10 movies of the year, so a little sneak peek there. $24.99 for that 4K. It's going to be a definite pickup, but for me, like a 2 for 30 type of thing. Um, and then we've got the Criterion edition of Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which I actually reviewed last year on the channel. It's a Netflix original, but now it's come out physically for $29.99. I quite like that Netflix does this, like with their movies after a year, puts them on Criterion, makes it a bit more special, um, whereas Apple have kind of just been doing a year or there. We've got Elvis, though. Um, this is the Baz, the Baz Luhrmann film. Uh, starring Austin Butler. It's $14.99 or $9.99 with any purchase, so pretty decent. We've got The Pianist Day for $19.99, and then we've also got The Piano for $19.99 as well. You can't really see that. But I wonder if those films are related. Have no idea. Let me know. We've got The Polar Express year on the 2 for 25 as well. My Christmas film of the year. I reviewed it over December, of course. And then we've got some 4K, some 4K steelbooks that are just on the shelf here in Combran. Uh, $24.99 for Smile. Not sure if this is rare or anything, but it's there. We've got The Quiet Place Part 2, which has been out for ages. It's $19.99 still. To be honest, I think it should be at least $14, if not $9.99, because it's been out a while. We've also got uh, David Bowie. I believe this is a new release. Uh, this is $29.99, the Nicholas Rogues uh, movie, uh, The Man Who Fell to Earth. So that is here in store. We've got the $9.99 Reminiscence. I mean, one of the worst films of that year. Again, the Steelbook's still in stock. But again, this probably should be cheaper. Like, it's been there for ages. Um, next then, we do have Rocky 4. Um, I haven't seen any Rocky films. Uh, but this one's here for $24.99, although I know this is cheaper on Zavi. And then we also get the Fantastic Beasts uh, movie, $21.99 there for that one in Steelbook. Okay, back in the car then now. I've been to all the shops I needed to go. I traded in everything. Um, annoyingly, one of the games wasn't in the case. So I couldn't trade um, one of the games in. But to be honest, I was 50-50 of selling that game anyway. So I might just not bother now because I think it's a sign that I shouldn't have sold it anyways. And um, it was Assassin's Creed. Like, it's one of those games you've got to put like hours and hours into it. And I was a bit like, oh, I want to play it, but I haven't got the time to dedicate to it. But even if I haven't got the time to dedicate to it, I still want to play it. So maybe I should like just casually play it and just not worry about it. I mean, they're going to give me a 10 So what would I get instead? Two Blu-rays, a 4K Blu-ray? You know, what would I gain? Nothing really. So I think I'm going to keep it. I think it was a sign that I should have kept it anyway. So it's what it is. I did go to Greg's though because I am going to, um, I'm going to cinema top 11 and I thought, well, the film's not going to start till 12. So that means I'm going to be in the cinema for the best part of an hour and a half stroke two hours. So um, I'm going to need this. I've only got a sausage roll though because everyone loves a Greg sausage roll. I mean, look at that. Let me down when I'm driving now, I think, on the way. I think about 20 minutes to get there. Um, 
I did just have a quick look as I sat in the car on the puppy cam. So let's just check Obi. I've got a little Obi cam graphic there. So you can see, we're gonna just keep an eye on Obi, make sure he's all right. Are you doing okay, Obi? Yeah, are you good? You're good, he's just sleeping, that's all he does. I have like a camera inside his crate and um, <clears throat> when I'm out, all he does is sleep. So yeah. Anyways, we're now heading to uh, the cinema now and then yeah, I'll get home and then I'll be able to film what I picked up. I did pick up two pickups today. Um, well, three technically, three movies. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. Nothing in HMV, but I did get um, a pickup in, uh, t three pickups rather, in CEX. So yeah, pretty good, pretty decent, but it was nice to get out and doing this again. So I'm going to the cinema now, but for you guys, it'll be a couple of seconds and we'll be home and we'll see what I've bought. Back home then guys now, back home, I am literally back home from the cinema, I've just filmed a review for the movie One Life, just going to say, a very very moving movie, so stay tuned for that review, it's coming out in the next couple of days, I picked myself up a Monster Mango Loco, I think this is the juiced one, but it doesn't say juiced on it, I feel like it's juiced, um, anyway, Mango Loco is what I've got, yeah, there it is, Mango Loco, why am I saying it like that, anyways, we are here now and I've got my two pickups, from the uh, CEX that we went to today. Really happy just to say this, like to get back into this and doing videos. And this is what I used to love doing on the weekend. It makes my whole weekend go quicker. It makes me not stay in bed till one or two o'clock feeling crap about myself. It actually gets me out, you know, gets me up, gets me out. Gone to the cinema, socialized, met some people, like spoke to people, like, you know, shot people. And yeah, I've got out basically, you know what I mean? It's good for their mind. Anyways, two films, well, two Blu-rays, but three films. And the first one is a double pack. Um, so this is a new film that came to the cinema, I believe in 2022. I totally missed it. Um, I really wanted to see it. The first movie I believe came out in the seventies, like maybe the late seventies, early eighties. Um, and this is The Railway Children. So this is the double pack of The Railway Children, the original, and then The Railway Children um, Return. I remember growing up, Loving the Railway Children. Like, so this is just a revisited idea. So, yeah, the film by Lionel Jeffries. There's the original there. Nicely artworked Blu ray there. And then there is the new one, The Railway Children Return. I don't think the Return movie did very well at the box office and, you know, critically and all that. So, you know, we'll have to go in with there with a pinch of salt. Is that what they say? Um, but yeah, as you can see, for the for the price I paid, five quid. Now, most of the time in CEX, older movies are like more expensive. So, I'm wondering how much the original just railway children on their own would be. I have a feeling it probably would be about a fiver. So when I saw the two for five, I thought it's a pretty decent deal, to be honest with you. Um, and as I say, nice artwork, all in one slim case for the two movies. So it saves space on the shelf. And, um, you know, as I say, I'll give these a watch. Like I'll definitely um, be watching the railway children on a revisited. And then maybe we'll do then the, you know, a review then of... Um, the Railway Children Return. So, decent pickup, you know, quite a strategic one, a fiver. Like I say, a movie that I, I believed I loved as a kid, really did, but we'll have to see, because these revisiteds are really interesting. I really like doing them, because sometimes you watch a film and it's totally, like, not what you expect, you know what I mean? It's like, I remember liking this, but I don't like it anymore. Wonder why that is. So yeah, there is the uh, the pickup there. Um, I'm not sure if it, it doesn't have a eco case, but like it has a really weird, it's like really, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's like hard, it's not see-through. It's like frosted, I guess. I've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, there we go. The Railway Children 1 and then the Railway Children 2 the return movie. Good stuff. So that was a decent pickup, like I say, strategic pickup really, just one that I um, wanted to get and, um, and check out. This one then is a very different pickup. Now, I bought myself a steelbook. So this was only three pounds um, and I saw it on the shelf uh, behind, you know, in kex on the thing. And I just thought, I'm looking for an original case for this movie. This is only three quid and it's a 3D version. Um, and it's, it's just perfect. So I have bought Gravity um, many months ago now, obviously when I wasn't filming and stuff. Um, but you can see here, this is the Spanish version. Now the reason I bought the Spanish version is because of this little bad boy here. This Dolby Atmos soundtrack um, is apparently one of the best Dolby Atmos soundtracks. And again, speaking on revisited point of view, this is definitely a revisited that I would love to do at some point. Um, Weirdly though, the Adobe Atmos soundtrack is only on like the European versions, maybe the Italian version as well, but this is the Spanish version that was in stock. I believe this was like maybe eight euros, seven euros, not bad. Um, but when it arrived, it the bottom bit of the case is broke. 
Not to mention it's a thin case, and I don't really like the thin cases. But the bottom thing is broke, so it's a bit annoying that it doesn't clasp shut, and it's always been like that since day one. So my thinking with this is to put these two discs into now this fancy steelbook. You can see here, this is the steelbook that I decided to to get, and for three quid, like you can't go wrong. Like it's got a nice bind, Gravity 3D. Um, if I open it all the way, you can see there the back. Then we've got Don't Let Go and. I believe that's George Clooney's character, is it? Like, disappearing off? I can't remember this. I mean, 91 minutes this film is lengthwise. Um, but now I've got the Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, and then we got some special edition stuff. So there's a lot to check out first before we get into this. So this is the J card that it came with, and then obviously the Steelbook stuff there, which is decent. Uh, the person in Kex actually said to me as well, like, you've got to keep hold of these because they do not accept returns without the J card. I always say now in my videos, but she said to me today, she said, keep all of this, don't burn this. We won't be able to, if we ever want to trade this in again, we could never um, accept that. So she said something like they're not allowed to go searching in the, in the steelbook. Maybe it's to do with like, they've damaged people's steelbooks because steelbooks are very fragile things. So maybe it's something to do with that. Not too sure. So we've got to look at the um, special features side of things because I have got, um, right, now I don't speak Spanish, but I think the writing on the top, I feel like the writing there matches that writing. And then this one says over three hours of special effects. Three hours, three hours. Cracked it. So the special edition desk, I would like to say, is exactly the same as the other special edition, which I'm not too sure where the special edition will be because it's just in here we've just got a Blu-ray disc and then we've got a Blu-ray 3D. So I'm assuming it's gonna be just on the Blu-ray. Whereas on this special edition version, we have obviously, this is the Blu-ray itself. So this is the movie that has the Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So that's like the main one. Um, so we need to keep that. And then this one also comes with a special edition, which is obviously like the special edition Dolby Atmos side of things. But then it's got special content. So that's like the bonus features. So I don't think I need this disc. Um, I will maybe check this out, but I'll probably just keep this in that for now. Um, and I probably will just keep, we've got the Blu-ray disc, we've got the Blu-ray 3D as well. So I'm gonna put um, the Blu-ray disc on top of the Blu-ray 3D disc, uh, just like that. So the Blu-ray 3D disc is just behind. And then in front then, I'm just going to put now my special edition Spanish one, which is of course the two discs that originally come with this is in here. Plus then I've got my, my amazing Dolby Atmos version. Um, we obviously get some artwork inside as well. So like nice artwork there. Um, you know, the Spadilbook has a few sticky note marks on there. No damage, but just a bit of mildew. <laughs> I don't want to say mildew, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so that's going to be my complete version of this. I probably could actually fit all of these discs in because, you know, it's not going to hurt to have them all in anyways. Uh, if I put the special edition behind that, uh, no, it's not going to hold. The other one kind of keeps it in. So, yeah, so this special the special content disc will have to just discard. Um, I'll leave it just in here for now, though. Um, as you can see, this was an eco case as well, so another reason to, to upgrade it because, you know, People just poke their fingers through these things. I mean, I'm not bothered by this. Like, it's so easy just to damage this um, and crinkle up the actual artwork, which I've just done there on the back, as you can see. It's just so bad. So, yeah. Anyways, I now have the amazing Steelbook. And like I say, keep the keep the slip cover. I always put the slip cover just in the inside like that, just to keep it. And then there it is, Gravity 3D with the Dolby Atmos track. Cost me three quid, probably cost me about a ten a roll in because I paid about seven euros for the the discs, so not too bad. I do have at the moment uh, one, two, three, four, five, now six steel books that I need to buy steel book protectors for because yeah, I run out and I need more, so uh, I'll have to just put that on the shelf somewhere. I may have another steel book somewhere as well to put in one, but I've got about six or seven I need to sort out. So, so yeah, so that's today's pickups and today's first Blu-ray hunting back. Three, mo two movies there. Railway Children and Railway Children Return, of course. And then buy in the Gravity Steelbook so I can put my um, Spanish, Espanol version of 
of the movie in there. So uh, I think it's pretty decent, you know. I spent eight quid in uh, CEX, had my voucher in the end, managed to trade in all my electronics. They did accept everything when I was in the cinema. They did actually send an email to say the payment's on the way. So all my stuff's gone, all my old technology, which is great. Always good to just get rid of stuff you don't use. Um, so that's great. Uh, also, I did have this code thing that came with it. Obviously it may not work, but, but if you have made it this far, I will give you this code here by all means go away, knock yourself out. If you have managed to redeem it, enjoy. Let me know down below if you uh, if you have. But anyways, guys, that is my that is my video for today. We are back in, in the next couple of days, then we'll have the first 2024 movie review, which is uh, for one life that I saw today. So very exciting, back in the thick of it. Um, and as I said at the beginning of the video, let me know what content you want me to make this year. I want to get to like 10,000 subs is my goal. Like I want to go, I want to go on a mad one this year. Um, I want to dedicate so much time to this. Um, because I've had so much time off. Um, and also, tell your friends. If your friends like movie stuff, share it with your friends. Share it on, like, Facebook pages. Um, and, you know, we'll maybe do a massive giveaway, you know, when we get to, like... I always do a giveaway when I get to, like, two and a half thousand subs. So, and um, we get to fi 500 more subs, I'll do a giveaway. So, the sooner we get to 500 subs more, the sooner we'll do a giveaway. And then we'll go from there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And, of course, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.